Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 2013 Snoopy's World Hockey Tournament. And who do we have here? My name is Mark Sertich. Mark, it's great to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Yep. Now, you've been involved with the Snoopy Hockey Tournament for quite some time now, huh? Yes. Uh, I believe my first year was 1982. Uh, it was just about the time that I retired. And uh, I've been coming out uh, off and on ever since. I missed one or two probably, but uh, I guess I'm around 28 issues out here. Right. So you remember when Charles Schultz decided he wanted to start this tournament and start well, it going? Yeah, the tournament had been going. Uh, I think he took it... Uh, from the Los Angeles area, the way I understand, in about 1975, and I didn't get out till 1982, but uh, it uh, it was pretty well built out by that time. Yeah. yeah, and it's really fun to each year to get together with your favorite players. Oh, and I'll tell you, in the last few years, uh, it's fun to play hockey, but it's more beneficial and more fun to have see everybody come back again and know that they're okay and have a little conversation with them. Right. Yeah. Now, a couple of years ago, you wanted to get back into the National Hockey League, right? Well, yeah. You know, the uh, Minnesota Wild, they uh, come up to Duluth every every year for a, a kind of a get-together, I guess it is. And uh, a friend of mine on the Duluth News Tribune uh, was contacted by their, by their PR man, and uh, all of a sudden they wanted to give me a tryout, for heaven's sake. <laughs> <laughs> and you said, about time, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. I said, you know... Being middle age, I'll, I'll try it, you know. <laughs> That's awesome. So do you feel that, you know, the National Hockey League, should they have a an age cap or should it just keep on going? Well, it would be kind of nice to let the fellows play as long as they could, yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. And being in the Snoopy Hockey Tournament, you do have the opportunity, no age limit, you can play. There's well, different divisions. Uh, yeah, it's, it's such a wonderful thing that uh, they have this. And uh, uh, there's not too many places that, uh, you know, you can go to a tournament in the older age groups. Yeah? Right, definitely. Now take us back to your childhood when you first were introduced to hockey in Minnesota and tell us a little bit about that. Well, uh, like I said, uh, I've been playing about 80 years and uh, back in those days uh, I learned to skate on a pair of what they call tin horns, you know, the uh, racing skates. Mm -hmm. And uh, it just so happened that... Uh, uh, one of the companies had a had a uh, oh, situation where the, if you got the most uh, little tickets of, of their product, you won the first prize. The first prize was a, a bicycle, and the second prize was a pair of tin horns. And uh, actually, uh, that's what I played on until probably uh, was 10 or 12 years old. Yeah. Wow, nice. And then you got right into it, started playing hockey? Yeah, yeah we, it, uh, at that time uh, there was only probably uh, about four or five rinks scattered around town and the, the neighborhood that we lived in uh, didn't have any boards, just hockey boards, so we you know, we scooted down to the next one and got some ice time. Yeah. <laughs> got to do what you got to do, right? That's right, yeah. <laughs> there and, you uh, go. Yeah, it was all shinny hockey, but you learned to skate and, you know, pass the puck and so on. Right. Now, what's interesting about you is when we look at the history of hockey, back when you first started, you didn't really need that many pads. You would fall down and take it like a real well, boy or a man. And now, let me tell you about the hockey sticks in those days. You know, they were straight, straight blade, and uh, if you had a pretty decent hockey stick, you kept you. You know, you hung on to it, and if it cracked on you, uh, the old Prince Albert uh, tobacco cans are made just right size. If you cut them right to uh, put them on, on your stick of those tracked. And uh, you put the little nails in there and you nail it back together. You had to. Put it together, right? <laughs> and as far as, you know, pads, or, I remember uh, my mother buying some uh, canvas and uh, she sewed up and down where, you, where you'd have the uh, creases and she stuffed them with cotton batten and that, that was my pads at the time. Yeah. yeah. And nowadays it, it's all different, huh? And, uh, <laughs> I, I I really can't remember when I start re really wearing the helmet. I mean that. Yeah. I mean you had a woolen cap on most of the time, I guess. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Definitely. So growing up, was Minnesota North Stars one of your favorite hockey teams? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I I I, I like the type of a team that uh, plays hockey the way it should be played. Yeah. 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 And uh, one of my favorites are the Red Wings. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. They still play it really hard. <laughs> yeah, you bet. Definitely. Yes, they do. Fast pace. Now, besides hockey, do you have another favorite sport? 
Well, uh, yeah, I, uh, I, I got into running. I ran six marathons, my first one at uh, 58 years of age. And then uh, after that, I got into inline, and uh, I did my first inline marathon at 75. And then also, I, I got 11 of those under my belt. So Keep on going. Keep yeah, on adding them up. <laughs> yeah. There you go. So we'll wrap it up with what does this tournament mean to you personally? It's everything. Uh, it's the thing that you look forward to. It's the thing that keeps you motivated uh, to keep playing. And uh, like I say, it's a wonderful place to come to. Definitely. Well, Mark, thanks so much for your well, time. Thank you for having me. Appreciate yeah. it. Definitely. Yeah. It's been great. And we'll have some more highlights from the Snoopy World Hockey Tournament here in Santa Rosa, California. Yeah.